Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Luke Beller. So it came out yesterday the Packers have met with a linebacker, a linebacker who's projected to be picked like near the end of the first round. And this is Zaven Collins from Tulsa. Tweeted over here from Justin M underscore NFL. He's been putting out all these things about the meetings that are happening. So here's his tweet. Tulsa's Zaven Collins can do whatever you need him to. Rush the QB, drop in coverage, and stop the run. A true chameleon that impacts the game everywhere. He's met slash will meet virtually with the Saints, Ravens, Packers, that's us, Broncos, Jets, Patriots, Titans, Cardinals, and Seahawks. If you guys are new to the channel, I put up Packers content pretty much every single day. News, breakdowns, analysis, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see that kind of thing, feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. All right, so taking a look at Mr. Zaving Collins from Tulsa. We have PFF over here, their little draft board tool that's pretty pretty nice, um, puts everything nice in, uh, in one place. I don't know how to talk sometimes. Okay, so first off, we have Micah Parsons is the number one ranked linebacker according to PFF, and if we scroll down, Mr. Zavin Collins is ranked 31th overall, 31, 31st, what is 31th? 31st overall, 4th highest ranked um, linebacker. 6'4", 260. He's like a physical specimen. He's like, he's massive. Um, and we can see what they set, have to say about him. At 6'4", 260 pounds, Collins isn't your typical off-ball linebacker prospect. He dominates backs in bliss pickup and can chase them down in space as well. His 91.1 overall grade this past season led all linebackers in college football. So, number one grade linebacker. He seems to be pretty good. Uh, a pretty good linebacker over there at Tulsa. Let's see if this will load. All right, so taking a look at his stats, he's been playing. He played in 2018, 2019, and 2020. Just looking at his grades, he took a big step forward in 2020, um, even though he played less games. And one thing about him that I've been reading is that he's very versatile. He can, you know, blitz. He can play coverage. He's really good when it comes to covering. Um, as you can see right here, uh, coverage grade, 93.7. Like, one of the best linebackers when it comes to coverage. In NFL comparison, a poor man's Brian Urlacher. I saw other people comparing to Brian Urlacher just because like they're similar size. And they say Collins truly has a rare physical skill set. Scheme will be important, and he could be special in the right one. Biggest strength, rare size, of course, being at 6'4". That's a pretty, pretty big man. Um, a lot bigger than me. Biggest weakness, tackling. Pros, freak of nature. Size and length you do not often see at off-ball linebacker. Edge rusher type skill set when blitzing. Running backs don't stand a chance. Well, that's nice. Movement skills like an undersized linebacker. Smooth hips and great burst. Shuts down throwing lanes. Pain for a quarterback to throw over. I guess that makes sense. He's 6'4". It's probably like when you're, trying, you're, when you're standing back there trying to throw, you're like... Can't see my wide receiver. Zavin Collins is in the way. All right, now for his cons. Not near the dominant tackler he should be. Was even worse earlier in his career. Could be more of a bully than he is. Will finesse into blocks. Level of competition was not great. Was no great shakes. No great shakes. Is that like a is that like a way is that like a phrase people say? I've honestly never heard that. Let me know. Have you guys heard that? Great shake. No great shakes. Who knows? Maybe I'm just um, not with it. Okay, skill set that's very scheme specific not going to be a value add for everyone. And that begs the question, would he be a value add for the Green Bay Packers? We are interviewing him, or we did. One of those has happened. And so the Packers maybe see something in him. They wanted to take a look at him. Of course, they're not going to draft every player they interview. But at the same time, it begs the question, will the Packers want to draft a linebacker? Because we've sort of talked about this a little bit on the channel. Taking a look at the Packers, like who they're going to draft in the first round. The thing is with the Packers, of course, we have, um, we released Christian Kirksey, but we have Chris Barnes and Kamal Martin, two young linebackers who, um, you know, were starting off last year. They played pretty good at times. They weren't amazing. And I think Zayvon Collins probably would be better than both those guys. I'm not positive about that, but considering he is a first round draft pick, if the Packers brought him in, you would think that they would want to play him there at linebacker over those guys. Um, and sort of thing is, will the Packers want to spend a first round pick on a linebacker? Personally, I don't really think they need to because taking a look at our linebackers, even though they weren't the best, I don't think the Packers need to upgrade at the linebacker per se. I think there's other areas that maybe could be more beneficial, like corn, cornerback. Um, and take a look at the Rams because, you know, that's where, um, what's his name? What's his name? Joe Barry. Because that's where Joe, Joe Barry was and sort of the way that they ran their defense. Take a look at their linebackers. Um, Troy Reader was their best um, graded linebacker, 27th by PFF. And then their other two, Kenny Young, 77th, Micah Kaiser, 75th. So they didn't really have like a stud when it came to linebacker. Taking a look at their cornerbacks, that's where sort of they were stacked. Of course, we got Jalen Ramsey. They got have him ranked ninth, Darius Williams, fourth. So they had two stud um, cornerbacks. And that's sort of what I think the Packers should do if I, you know, were to be the GM making these moves. Um, I would say the Packers should come in, pick a cornerback the first round. Obviously, I'm just a, 
a random guy on the internet talking about this and they probably know what they're doing much more than I do. But, you know, these are just my thoughts and my opinions. And so I think the Packers should come in and draft a line or not a linebacker, a cornerback in the first round. That's my personal preference just because I don't think you necessarily need a stud linebacker back there. Would it help? Obviously, upgrading any position would help, but I think there's other pressing needs. At least that's sort of my thoughts on that situation. And then if we take a look at um, basically what the what's this the draftnetwork.com they have some good stuff as well. If you guys want to like read some stuff about the draft, um, here's what they have to say about Zayvon Collins. After a high school career in which Zayvon Collins was a four-year starter at quarterback and linebacker slash safety, so he basically did it all. Tulsa was the only Division One program to offer him a scholarship. That's pretty crazy, considering now he's gonna be like a first-round talent. He ended his college career by claiming the Bronco Trophy, which is awards the nation's best defensive player. Collins offers an exciting blend of size, length, power, football intelligence, and versatility that makes him a dynamic prospect for the NFL. Whether it's defending the run, dropping into coverage, or rushing the passer, Collins has a requisite skill set required to execute and was arguably the most dynamic defensive player in college football for the 2020 season. He demonstrated notable growth in 2020, becoming a complete defender and making high-impact clutch plays seemingly every week. The Belichick disciples and teams that deploy that style of defense are likely salivating over Collins' skill set, and he projects as an impact defender in the NFL that can make plays in a variety of ways. Ideal role, starting linebacker, given opportunities to rush the passer, drop in coverage, play downhill, and in space. So basically, Zayvon Collins, what we've read here, he can basically do it all. Scheme fit, Collins projects favorably to a defense that is multiple with his alignments that presents the opportunity for him to unleash the full breadth of his skill set. So I wonder if Joe Barry's over here like liking this guy, we don't know what Joe Barry is thinking. And one thing I remember like reading about the Rams and sort of seeing some people talk about is basically the way that they sort of mix up their coverages, you know, confuse offenses, do all, do all that kind of stuff. And Matt LaFleur sort of talked about how it was like one of the harder defenses to prepare for. So maybe a guy like Zayvon Collins, who you never know, is he going to blitz? Is he going to drop into coverage? Maybe he could be someone the Packers could utilize his kind of skill set. But we'll have to wait and see what the Packers do in the first round of the draft. But let me know your thoughts about Zayvon Collins down in the comments. What do you guys think about him? If you would like the Packers to draft a linebacker or if there's another position you guys think would, you know, be more beneficial for our Green Bay Packers. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on the video. It really just honestly helps push the video. To Whoa. Sorry, that wasn't planned. Uh, my phone fell. But as I was saying, when you like the video, ba oh, sorry, technical difficulties. Um, I'll keep that in there just because, you know. Yeah, anyways, it helps the YouTube algorithm. That's basically what I was saying. The video is pretty much over. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.